Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I have made new and amazing project of powerful stereo audio amplifier circuit with bass treble and volume controller preamplifier. And both can be operated on 12 to 28 volt DC supply or battery. This amplifier has 4 output channels so you can connect 4 big speakers up to 400 watts each, including subwoofers. And in this video I will also provide you PCB files and circuit diagram of this project. So let's get started, first we will place all the components on PCB board, and then I will show you circuit diagram and value of each and every component, so I recommend you to watch full video to avoid missing any important information about this project. These are 8 turns of 1mm coated copper wire, that you can wind on any 5 to 6mm rod. And the IC I have used is TDA7851L. And 12 volt regulator to power up heatsink fan. And a 3 ampere diode. So. Now I have finished placing all the components on PCB, and here is the circuit diagram and download link is in video description. And now it's time to solder all the components on PCB, so let's get started. Now our soldering process is complete, and we need to trim the excess leaves of components. Now let's clean the flux residue with IPA solution. Our PCB is clear now, and I have used isopropyl solution to clean this PCB. Now let's move to the next part. I choose this heatsink as it comes with cooling fan and will efficiently cool down the IC for good performance and long life. Here I will cut its connector to solder it directly on PCB pads. It's recommended to use thermal paste for effective transfer of heat from IC to heatsink. This heatsink will get locked in PCB by pressing these connectors in holes of the PCB. Here you can see here is output for two subwoofers. These are for left and right speakers. And here is DC input up to 12 to 28 volts. And here is audio input connector. I used this Pioneer 12 inch subwoofer speaker. It is 400 watts RMS with 1400 watts max output. I used this foam piece to place circuit board on it and connect wirings of speakers and power supply safely. Now let's connect the speaker in sub connector. I used another small subwoofer speaker, but you can use the same another one over here. Also you can use two more small speakers at right and left channel. Now our speaker wiring is complete, and I used these clip wires in DC input connector.
This is the pre-amplifier circuit with Bluetooth that I made in my previous video. If you haven't watched yet you can go and watch it on my YouTube channel. So let's connect this with amplifier board. Since ground is already connected, let's connect DC positive to preamplifier. Before we test, let me tell you these PCBs is ordered from jlcpcb.com, click on order now. Upload PCB Gerber file that I have provided in description of this video. After upload you can see preview of PCB. You can choose any favorite color of PCB, and they provide you 5 pieces of PCBs for just 2 US dollars. Now let's get back to project, here I have connected DC input supply to both amplifier and preamplifier circuits. Here you can see it is on now, also you can see cooling fan is spinning. Now I will connect phone with Bluetooth. Ok, it's now connected. Now let's play a song. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up. For more amazing projects share and subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.